In this quick little video, we're going to see how we insert rollover images into an existing site. Now we have an existing page that we've used from earlier. And I'm going to show you first how to add a regular image. First, I'm going to replace the header and go to my insert bar, choose insert images, select my header image, say OK. Add alternate text, say OK. Inserting a rollover image is very similar. I'm going to first start with the home page. Once I remove my text from my existing text link that I have, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to where I have my image. Click on a drop down and I'm going to select rollover image. Give it an image name. In this case, home, same as what the link was. My original image is going to be my normal state. So I've named it home dash normal. I always like to have a normal in name that way it's easy to find. I know what I'm looking for. My rollover very similarly is called home dash over. The file names do not matter. You can pick any name you want. However, it's always good to pick good meaningful names. My alternate text is just going to be something simple I can use. I'm not going to worry about a link at this point. Dreamweaver will put in a hash symbol for me automatically until I go in and update that link at a later time. Say OK, and here is my home button. Now if I go and do a rollover right now inside a Dreamweaver, you'll notice that nothing happens. This is because I am in Design View. If I go to Live View, Rollover, you can now see that my image is working as you would expect. Uncheck Live View, and I will repeat for my other buttons as well. You'll notice that all of my buttons, regardless of which ones they are, involve the normal and over naming structure. This consistency makes it much easier for us to find images later on. When I'm done, all my roller buttons now work as you would expect them to. However, you'll notice I have a bunch of images. Even though they are only a few K a piece, each one winds up getting downloaded. In addition to the all the images getting downloaded that you see here, if I go into code view, you'll notice a couple of things. First off, we have a large section of script which Dreamweaver automatically generates for us. This JavaScript code is what is necessary for the roller effect to work. You also notice down here where my images are, instead of just having a link with the image, I have information regarding the link and the rollover as well as to swap it. This JavaScript code is going to be present on every page that the end user has to download, which is going to slow down the perceived speed of your website. This is something we obviously want to avoid, and so we'll look at how can we speed that up using CSS in the next recording.